America's darling in the face of body positivity, Lizzo is a nightmare to work for behind the scenes, at least according to three of her former backup dancers who are suing for what they claim were awful conditions on the job. The singer is named as a defendant in a new lawsuit that was filed by the three women who say they danced for Lizzo and her touring company between 2021 and the spring of 2023 when they claimed they were either unjustly fired or forced to resign due to unbearable circumstances. In the court documents, Ariana Davis, Crystal Williams, and Noel Rodriguez say they made it into Lizzo's orbit through her reality show Watch Out for the Big Girls on Amazon, and after making the cut, they alleged they were subjected to a number of California workplace violations, several of which amounted to sexual harassment, forced imprisonment, and interference with prospective economic advantage, among other claims. The accusations are being thrown in a few different directions, including some aimed at members of Lizzo's management team, but as it pertains to her specifically. She's being accused by these women of basically holding them hostage in a number of situations. Specifically, the women cite two different instances while on the road with her in Europe earlier this year. They claim she subjected them to attend new shows in Amsterdam and Paris to declare discomfort of her employees. During the Amsterdam outing, they claim Lizzo forced her dancers to touch the nude performers on stage and interact with them in a very vulgar and explicit ways. The dancers claim they felt they had to do this in order to maintain their jobs. Another claim against Lizzo, her alleged badging of these women over alleged poor performers and accusations of drinking on the job, which they say led her to constantly intimidating them and their positions on her squad. The dancers even claim Lizzo made them re-audition for their sports in a multi-hour rehearsal that sounds brutal. One dancer claimed she was forced to pee her pants right there on stage out of fear of taking a break. One dancer also claims Lizzo was privy to an eating disorder she had and exploited that when she felt the dancer wasn't up to snuff, allegedly forcing her to talk about it. On top of all that, these dancers claim they were constantly being stiffed on the money front as well as having to constantly turn down other dancing gigs during pauses on the tour and they are now suing for major damages. Just hours after the allegations were made public, Lizzo's former creative director, Queen Whitney Wilson, and dancer Courtney Hollenquist claimed they experienced similar treatment. Courtney Hollenquist took to Instagram to say, For clarification, I'm not part of the lawsuit. But this was very much my experience in my time there. Big shout out to the dancers who had the courage to bring this to light. Soon after, Wilson shared a screenshot of Courtney's statement to her own social media page, saying she was echoing everything that was already said. She added, I haven't been part of the world for around three years for a reason. I very much applaud the dancers' courage to bring this to light, and I grieve parts of my own experience. I would appreciate space to understand my feelings, she concluded. People also took to social media to react to the whole situation. Let's take a look at some of them. Somebody tweeted, I'm not a lawyer, but Lizzo Loki dry snitch on herself here. Wouldn't be surprised if these incidents happened a few years ago and the dancers had to go through a tedious process to breach the NDA just so they are able to sue her. Somebody also said, why do y'all keep saying if the accusations are true? LOL, I thought it's believe the accusation first, then ask questions. Why Lizzo get a different set of rules? That's what I'm also asking myself. Somebody also said, Be wary of people that are too pleasant in the public eye. No decent person invests in performative, lovey-dovey persona with the media. They are either hiding something or avoiding being seen without a marketed perception. This person also said, Lizzo literally built her brand around body positivity. She cries on Instagram Live about how people bullying her weight makes her depressed only for her dancers who look like her to sue her for being phobic. We call that fat on fat crime. This person also said, and this is why I can't stand you damn let's wait for all the facts. Take your admiration glasses off. You don't know Lizzo. You only know of what she says with you as a public figure. And she's capable of committing harm or taking advantage of others. Believe victims. So yeah, it goes on and on and on. They said believe all women, so I believe the victims 100% until the facts say otherwise. But let me know what you think in the comments down below.